wanted to show you was creating collage papers using the jelly plate. So I pre-made cool. just some plain colored pages just with that thin drawing paper that we were talking about before, okay. just so that we're ready to go. And what I wanted to do was show you how to use the jelly plate. So it's really important that you remember to take the plastic off the jelly plate or it's not going to work as well as we might like and that would be kind And of remember sad. to put the back on when you're right, done. Right, so when you're done you've got to remember to put that back on. There's a plastic sheet on either side so you can take them both off or you can just take the top one off. And what I wanted to show you was how we can use stencils on jelly plates. So I was going to grab just a couple of random shapes and we're just going to mm. lay those down and just press them down so that they're sticking nicely and we might put that one just there. Fabulous. Don't worry if your stencils aren't pristine clean. It's not a huge big deal. And then we're going to, when you're looking at stencils, make sure if they're an image that can be read down or upwards that you put it down the right way. Otherwise it's going to and you might have to backwards. experiment with it a little that's bit. Something, so, or, yeah, yeah, that's okay. something. So with this one, this is a, an ampersand. Type. Yes. So we're going to put that facing down so that it's we're reading it backwards so that when it prints it'll print the right way up i really hope it prints the right way yeah up i know anyway. <laughs> i'm trying i'm looking at it right now I'm trying thinking, to I'm sure it does. and then we're just going to grab some paint and what we might do is just slide our mat this way a little bit so we can just put some paint here okay. yeah. and we've got a green sheet of paper so let's go with something bright like a pink always a nice color combination always a bit of pink Grab our rollers and just get plenty of paint on there and just go right over the top, making sure that there's an even spread of paint right across there. So that's looking really good. And then we're going to peel off very gently. We're going to peel off our stencils and place them to the side. This is where having fingernails is useful. Not so much with a manicure, but <laughs> anyway. And we just gently lift that up so you can see already the image that we're going right. to have. And we're just going to take our piece of colored paper and we're just going to Lay it down, down colour side down, and we're just going to gently rub our hands just to press it down, but not too hard because you don't want to smush the paint around too much. Okay. Good thing and to remember. Then we're just going to peel lift up and peel that right up. Magic. That. Ooh. Oh, wow, it worked. It Our did. Ampersand showed up the right way. Yay. Yay. So we've set that aside. Now, because there's still a little bit of paint on the plate, I don't necessarily insist on having clean prints because they're collage papers right. they it's don't have to be clean prints so for example i'm going to use this pink on pink okay and i'm just going to lay that one down on top as well and i'll smush that a little bit press that down a little bit harder and we'll try and pick up to as much of that paint. paint and it's going to be a pink on pink effect look at that I like that. That's very That's nice. That's really That's nice. A, a nice and subtle. I love that. Right. And you've almost got all of the paint off the jelly plate. So then if you want to clean up the jelly plate, we simply grab a baby wipe to create prints with the jelly plate. Once they've dried up, we can always la add more layers. We can also okay. draw straight onto those. Mm -hmm. We can stamp straight onto them. So we'll demonstrate some of those things. And then the fun part is we get to cut them up. We use them on our channels.